Well, you won't fi find scenes like this in America on America's streets these days. It's black and white video. You know it's old. <laughs> a lot of hat sea of hats rolling down the sidewalk. Now just a part of history. Yeah, that's too bad. But one man in Springville is dedicating his life to bringing back a fading piece of the past. What a gentleman carried on his body at any given time, the most expensive thing was his hat. It's a throwback to a forgotten age. I would love for it to be more like yesteryear, right? Nowadays, businesses like Chandler Scott's hat shop are mere shreds of what once was. I think what changed eventually, in my opinion, that killed the hat was disco. Despite the onslaught of bell bottoms and the death of the hat, this is where Chandler feels at home. I grew up in L.A. Oh, I came, okay. came to go to BYU and then I've been here since. And he's always willing to talk about his hero, John Charles Tatton, Utah's first hat maker. Brigham Young actually financed him to start making hats back in the 1850s. Enchanted by hats while serving a mission in South America. And all the accoutrement pieces of being a man. His new mission is breathing new life into this aging slice of fashion. The showroom's only been open a year and a half. He's made it here in this historic space. Every old building has a cellar. And this cellar holds a secret. We make hats here, yeah. Each hat is custom made. Each hat, a love letter to the days of yore. Because it's the proper way to do it, really. Here, Chandler uses steam. It opens up the fibers of the beaver fur. Here, Chandler works with a sewing machine from 1905. There's a Chinese version that's exactly the same that will break every three or four months on you. Here, Chandler does things the old-fashioned way. How it was done 130 years ago. So who's buying these ancient artifacts of American antiquity? Way too old school. That means peddling his wares outside of Springville. My, like, fall line had a bunch of campaign or Boy Scout hats in them for our Japanese store. Yeah, you heard that right. Chandler has a store in Tokyo. The Japanese do a really good job of loving Americana. And each and every export is tied to Chandler's idol, John Charles Tatton. Some of the hat equipment are from the original shop that was started in the 1860s. A constant inspiration. Inspired enough to call the business Tat and Baird, Baird being my middle name or my mother's maiden name. Merging the past with his own present. A hat shop is where you specifically make hats. Helping the good old days form the fabric of the future. I mean, we're trying to keep Utah hat heritage alive and doing it one hat at a time. While Chandler sells a lot of hats in Japan, he also sells quite a few locally and across the United States. He says the hat is on its way to making a comeback. Keith, we got to get you a hat. How cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> it is cool.